Hey, we're at Knox Ave. It's been a little while. The boys are busy, but we're back to show you the home before it's finished. Come on in. All right, so we're here. I'm excited to show you guys what we're gonna be doing with this house. Right now, we're in the sheetrock phase. It just got finished, but I wanna give you a tour so you can see this open canvas and what's gonna be done. So the sheet rock's up and it's nice and cozy in here. I can't wait to give you guys a little bit more insight on what we're gonna be doing over here at the kitchen. It's gonna be amazing. One of the best things about this house, we're in the kitchen right now, but you gotta see this pantry. Guys, we're in Lyndhurst, Minneapolis. One of the best things you can ever have is a pantry this big. So the next thing that we have is the sink. We have this huge window with tons of light. Mom, one of the big things she loves to do is cook, take care of her kids. They have three little beautiful kids. And she wanted a place where she could do the dishes, clean up, but also look outside the window, enjoy the day. Then on top of that, because she's such a great cook, she wanted to have a gas stove. Every great cook loves a gas stove. So look at this, right here is gonna be a gas stove with the hood coming down. Man, I think she's gonna love it. But the kids, when they're eating, they needed some place to sit. So we have this eight foot island. This island's gonna be huge. There's gonna be four stools, the kids are gonna be hanging out, eating mom's great cooking. Oh, but wait, they're also gonna need something to drink. So right here, you're gonna have a big stainless steel fridge, it's gonna be awesome. This kitchen, guys, is gonna be amazing. All right, so now that we're done giving you a little glimpse of the kitchen, let's walk through this main level. You guys, this main level is the definition of open concept. So right now I'm in the dining room. In order to kind of define the dining room, we added some framing right up here, which gives you a little bit of a feel that you're in a separate space, but you're not necessarily in a room. The other thing I wanted to show you is, guys, the light in here, it's just like, it's amazing all this natural light. And that was one of the things the family really wanted was a lot of natural light. So I think we hit that right on the head. Behind you is going to be the fireplace. So this is gonna be a big, beautiful fireplace. There's gonna be stone and a mantle. What a great job, what a great layout. So now that you've seen the great room and this open concept, I wanna take you upstairs and show you the master and some of the secrets we have up here. All right, before I show you the master and all its awesome secrets, I wanna walk you through the rest of the house on the upper level. So right here, off the stairs, is gonna be an awesome laundry room. It's huge. Then, you're gonna have your third bedroom for the kids with a great walk-in closet. But, because again, we're in the cities, storage is a premium. So what we did is we added a big linen closet right here. Then you're gonna have an awesome bathroom servicing all three of the bedrooms up here in the second level. They're gonna have dual vanity sink, full bath. It's gonna be fantastic. And then over here, you got bedroom number two and bedroom number three. Let me tell you, we have tons of storage. Mother is gonna love it. But this is the master bedroom that I've been waiting to show you guys. Look around. Look at this box ceiling. It's gonna be amazing. One of the reasons we do a box ceiling is to give more space for a ceiling fan or a chandelier light so that it doesn't hang too low when you have your big sleigh bed just underneath these transom windows. The light in here is amazing. Again, we love natural light, so that's why we brought so much light into this room. But come on, check out this master bath. In the bathroom, we're gonna have dual vanity sinks, we're gonna have custom cabinets, and we're going with the white because that's the trend of today. On top of that, 
Instead of spending so much money on the stone for your countertops, like so many people think they need to do in their master, we're going with like Princess Marble because today they're making amazing products and they're super cost effective. Next is, again, I keep hitting it because storage and closet space in Lyndhurst, Minneapolis is a premium. Well, what do we have? We have a huge master walk-in closet. I can't believe what it's gonna be like going from one of those little closets that the family had to this big closet. I'm really excited for them. Now that I've shown you the upstairs and this awesome master suite, why don't you all come down with me to the basement because we have a full finished basement in this home. I have a little story about this basement. When we originally planned to build this house, we were gonna keep the existing foundation. But because of some complications with the city, and also when we dug into the foundation, we realized the footings and the actual structure of the foundation did not have enough integrity for us to keep it. It was crumbling and it just wasn't safe. So between the homeowner and the builder, we decided, you know what, let's do the right thing. So what did we do? We gave them a brand new finished foundation. Now what's so awesome about that is that we actually added probably about 300, 400 spinach square feet. We also were able to get the really nice high ceilings. These are eight foot ceilings down here. And then we were able to fit in an awesome bedroom and we have a full bath. Let me tell you, I think they're gonna be really excited about finishing the basement. Even though it wasn't an initial plan, I think they're gonna really love it. We're almost done. But, oh wait, I forgot to show you something that's even better. You guys, look at this. So this was one of their special requests. The family has three children and they wanted them to be able to do the homework on the main floor. So they thought, you know what? Let's put a pocket door in here and let's put a desk in here and we have like a pocket office. Oh, oh it was a great idea. Right off the kitchen, pocket office, they can shut the door and do their homework, but yet mom and dad are right there if they need any help. That was a cool idea. Before I take you outside, I want to show you what every mother loves, the mud room. This is where the kids are going to come in from outside, come in from the garage, they're going to dump all their stuff, we're going to have awesome benches, we're going to have beadboard and hooks. Man, I can just see it now, all the kids' stuff set down, hopefully mom has them trained, and it's going to be all organized. But, if it's anything like us, it's probably gonna be all over the place. But this is gonna be an awesome place for a mudroom. We came in the front, and we're going out the back. So thanks for watching us on knoxav.com, but there's one more thing I wanna show you, the garage. One of the other features I wanna show you guys, it's really important. Again, we're in Lyndhurst, Minneapolis neighborhood and getting a garage that is more than a one car, even a two car, but a two plus car garage, I mean, take a look around. The garages are so important. There's nothing better than having a two plus car garage in the heart of Minneapolis, in the Lyndhurst neighborhood. We've come a long way in a short period of time. Now, let me show you the finishing process. 